Now to a scary start to shark season. A teenager lucky to be alive after having a frightening close encounter while surfing. And he was rescued just in the nick of time by a man he didn't even know. ABC's Matt Gutman has that story for us. 16-year-old Mike Adler knew it immediately. His whole jaw just cramped down on my leg. Right from there, I kind of knew it was a shark attack. Adler and four of his buddies were surfing the breaks near New Smyrna Beach, known as the shark bite capital of the world. I was bleeding everywhere, so I thought it was going to come back and try to get me, so I immediately put my feet above the water and was just paddling in as fast as I could. He was hollering to his buddies, hey, hey, come here, come here. Tiffany Langford happened to be nearby. Me and another guy went to help Michael and we carried him onto the sand and we saw that he was bleeding from his left leg. Adler's friends say that man, the stranger, sprang into action MacGyver-like and seemed to have military training. Doctors at Holmes Regional Medical Center say that makeshift tourniquet from the surfboard leash may have saved the four tendons in Adler's leg damaged by the attack. His buddies, undaunted by their friend's date with a shark, went right back to surfing. And Adler is no ordinary shark attack victim. Moments after the 20 jagged teeth ripped into him, he flashes the peace sign. Adler even tweeted, just got bit by a shark, and I'd better be on Shark Week. Referring to the popular Discovery Channel series, and check out his new handle, Shark Bait. But experts say sharks don't actually like human shark bait. They say that bites like this one are often cases of mistaken identity. When the shark realizes humans are a foreign food, they often release what they've bitten. And as for Mike? I wish I could surf tomorrow. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami Beach.